video editing and everything that comes with it is a beautiful thing. For me, it all started when I was 13 years old, making skateboarding videos with my friends. I fell in love with video editing, but that's also where my struggle started. I wanted to create effects and animations, but I didn't have anyone to teach me and YouTube didn't exist back then. For years, I struggled to learn graphics animations, but now I finally know how to do it. So prepare yourself to absorb years of motion graphics knowledge in just a few minutes. We're going to create an amazing logo animation. So let's get started with making a background first. Click on the new icon button and choose color mat. Click OK and set the color to black. Then call it backgrounds and click OK again. Drag it in a timeline and go to the effects library. Find the noise effect and drag it onto the color mat. In the effects control, set the amount of noise to something like 70%. Now we have this glitchy or noisy background. I want it to look a little bit more distorted and to do that, find the lens distortion effect and drag that onto the clip. Set the curvature to minus 40 or whatever works for you and that looks amazing now. Now click the rectangle tool and hold shift while drawing the shape. This will create a square. Then go to the effects controls and expand the shape properties. Disable the fill and enable stroke then increase it to something like this. Keep in mind we're gonna put a logo inside the square so don't make the stroke too thick. Next we're gonna animate the shape into the frame. Find the transform effect and drop it above the shape in the effects controls. Otherwise it won't work. Now move the playhead further in time and set a position and rotation keyframe. Then set the playhead to the beginning and move the shape out of the frame. Also animate the rotation property to make the logo tumble in the center. And make sure that you right click the last keyframes and choose ease in. Now expand the properties and pull the levers to create a curve like this. The animation will follow this curve and the higher it is the faster it goes. So with this curve the shape will come in very fast and then end slowly. This is something that I didn't know for a very long time when I started editing my skateboarding clips. All the animations were hard and linear so you can imagine when I found out about the animation curve it just blew my mind. And of course also increase the shutter angle to give it some motion blur. All right now fasten your seat belts because now we're going to turn the shape into a 3D animation. Now find the basic 3D effect and drag it onto the clip. Set a swivel keyframe and move a bit further in time. Increase it to make it rotate a few times. Then set the first keyframe to ease out and the last one to ease in. Again, play with the animation curve if you like so. Now with movement comes motion blur, but the basic 3D effect doesn't have that option. So we're going to create that ourselves. Find the directional blur effect in the library and drop it onto the shape. Move the playhead to the middle of the animation and set the blur length to 40. Then set a keyframe. Of course, set the direction to 90 degrees. Move the playhead to the start of the swivel animation and set the blur length to zero. Do the same for the end of the animation of course. Then ease all the keyframes like we did before and adjust the animation curve so that the movement of the motion blur matches with the movement of the rotation. All right that is looking amazing already but you know what makes the animation 10 times better? Sound effects. While on audio the sponsor of today's video you can browse through endless sound effects such as swooshes and transitions. Actually let me download these and keep them aside from when the animation is done. You know from car sounds to gun Shots, you name it. Audio takes care about copyright and licensing, so you don't have to worry about a single thing. And of course, if you need some music, you can use the broad filters like mood, Jara, instruments, theme, BPM, and so much more. This will help you find the exact track that you need for your productions in no time. Actually, all the music and sound effects used in this video are from audio. They are the cheapest solution to the best quality music out there. That is why I use it and also recommend it to you guys. And we're also working on a mobile app which comes out later, which you can use to search music, create playlists, and even download on the go. Super useful for when you're working on set and you're trying to find a vibe for the video. But that's for later. Right now, if you want to step up your game as a video editor or VFX artist, then go download some sound effects and very good music from audio right now by clicking the link in the description down below. And now let's continue with the animation. It's time to place our logo in the square. So drag it in the timeline and head over to the effects controls. Adjust the scale and position. Awesome. Now I want the logo to be white and to do that, find the tint effect and drag it onto the clip. Set the map black to white and voila. The logo needs to appear in the middle of the swivel animation, but there's no need to animate the logo again. Simply copy the basic 3D and the directional blur effect from the graphic layer and paste it onto the logo clip. Go to opacity and set a keyframe at the moment that you want the logo to be fully visible. Then move a few frames back and set it to zero. Next, we're gonna change the logo into the text. So first, set a cut at the moment you want the text to appear. Then delete the clip, grab the text tool, and type in whatever 
whatever you want. Just make sure it's in the middle, of course. Now select the shape layer in the timeline and head over to the effects controls. Set a path and position keyframe, then move further in time and change the shape so that it fits around your text. That's cool, but the text doesn't really come in smoothly, so we're gonna fix that. Right click the text layer and click on Nest. Give it a name and hit OK. Oh, by the way, we're nesting the text because otherwise the transform effect won't work correctly. Which is the effect we're gonna find right now in the effects library and drag it to the nested sequence. Then animate the position property so that the text comes in like this. Now, don't forget to ease in the last keyframes, of course. Now set the shutter angle to 180 degree to introduce motion blur. Next, we're gonna make the text reveal itself. Find the crop effect and drag it underneath the transform. Create a box around the text and now the animation looks like this. Awesome. We're almost there, guys. It's now time to polish the animation with glitch effects. And that's super easy to do in Premiere. Simply click the new item button and choose adjustment layer. Drag it on top of the animation and in the effects library, find the VR digital glitch effect. Drop it onto the clip and go to the effects controls. Expand the distortion properties and just play around with them until you have something you personally like. Animate the distortion rate and the distortion evolution to make the glitch particles move. Now, if you don't want the glitch effect to be at a certain spot, you can just cut that part out of the adjustment layer. The cool thing about glitch is that you can just make hard cuts because it's part of the glitch. Next, we're gonna make the effect flicker. In the timeline, move the playhead to when the rotation movement is happening. Set a few cuts in the clips by selecting them and hitting Alt plus K on your keyboards. Remove some of the clips in between and this creates a flickering effect. Now find the VR chromatic aberrations effect and drag it onto the small clips. This gives it this glitchy color look. Now a very nice way to end the animation is to add a few flickers at the end. That looks amazing and now it's time to sound design the video. Remember the sound effects from audio? Well let's slide them all under the video and have a look at it. So what I had to work for for years, you just learned in a few minutes, but that's not all. If you combine this knowledge with the tricks here on my left, you will take your edits to the next level. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.